Hi everybody, happy, happy Wednesday. It's a uh, block of the week day. Um, oh, I've been playing around with some new bits for you today, which we're gonna get into in a minute. Hopefully you're all okay. I've just realized my chair's very high. I feel like I'm, oh, like I said today. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do the thing because I'll end up going like that and disappearing. So I um, uh, hope everyone's okay and you're not too cold. It's bitter cold here today, like real proper chilly. Builders are still here, so the door's open and it's just brr, proper burr. So we're going to start with the advent. We're going to start with the advent. Anybody there? Anybody coming online now? Uh, there's seven people in so far. Lovely, people lovely. We'll give it just in. a couple of minutes. I've just realised I'm going to grab my folder over there because I need my instructions for later. Two seconds. Because I need the measurements. I can't remember off the top of my head, so I need that bit. <laughs> um... Anybody saying hello there? We, uh... Uh, we got... Who is it? Uh, Jean, Heather... Hi, Jean. Hi, Heather. Angela. Hi, Angela. Lovely, a, lovely. A sweet comment. Brilliant. Hi. Hi, everyone. So, we're going to do day nine of the um, advent. Okay, so... Um, two seconds. Let's just get this one open. See what's in here. So, today it's going to be... Oh, King Cole, Chunky Wool and Hat Patterns. Okay, so they're coming. Um, so we're going to get give this a good shake. Okay, sorry, two seconds. I've just remembered a measurement that I've got to do. Okay, and I'm going to give them a good shake. Like this. Oh, give them a good... I really could do with a bigger bowl to get them, you know, shook up a bit more. Let's give them a good shake like that. Right, Al, get your hand in there. And really have a good rummage, have a good rummage round if you can. Oh, there we go, got one? Brilliant. So, it's a blue one, number 486. And that's going to Cheryl Daw. Cheryl, this is coming to you. Congratulations. We'll get that in the post to you later on. So, King Cole were really generous actually. They give some beautiful, beautiful um, rules and patterns and things. So, that one's coming to you, lovely. There we go. Right, get that one out of the way. Um, what have I got to tell you? So I've taken the shape cuts back off the daily deals now. Thank you to everybody who bought them. I um, hope you have good fun with them because I cut, I'm doing a class tomorrow, a stained glass jelly roll quilt class, which needs um, jelly roll strips, two and a half inches, and it also needs one and a half inch strips. And because I'm being fussy and I want to do it for my new bedroom, I wanted it all shades of like navy and pale blues. Um, so I cut my own jelly roll. It generally took me 20 minutes to cut the whole the whole pattern for a double quilt out. Brilliant. Loved it. Loved it, loved it. I love the shape cut separate. Fab. So today's daily deal. I know we don't do one every day, but we're being generous this week. We've got something for you every week, every day. Um, because we're going to be using jelly roll for the block of the week, jelly roll strips, we thought we'd, and you, this is such a quick block, you could definitely do this and still get it done in time for Christmas if you wanted to. We're going to um, reduce our Christmas jelly rolls and layer cakes. There's not many left. Um, Beth did a, um, a stock take for them on, a, on yesterday, all of these. So the website's all updated. Um, but instead of, they're all the Moda ones, instead of 32 95 they're all going to be £25. Okay, so you're saving, what's that, 7 95 on each one. So we've got a couple of the Christmas card ones, which in jelly rolls and layer cakes in fact actually it's probably better easier to see the the fabrics oh, i don't know if you can come in on these see the fabrics on these i love this one it's a much more modern christmas and there's loads of script in it as well which you you all know a little bit of a, a script fan so this is called the christmas card okay that one there and again the layer cake and the jelly rolls they're all reduced to 25 quid okay instead of 32.95 we've got a couple of jelly rolls and a couple of layer cakes and it really is ones and twos left so you want to grab them quick if you want them in the snowbound and this is a slightly more traditional feel to this one but it's not overly Christmassy it's more just autumn you know like wintry I think you could actually use it pretty much all year round um, that was called snowbound and there's a couple of layers and jellies left in that one uh, this is the poinsettia in pine which I've been using a lot um, over the last few weeks on these one o'clocks. I had one of the layer cakes and I think I've done about eight projects out of it. Um, and I've still got a couple of squares left. 
So we've got, again, a couple of, I think there's only one layer cake left, this one that I've got here. Okay, and I'm actually using the very last of it today for the block. Mm. And we've got, I think, three of the jelly rolls left. Okay. Because the block that we're using, nothing is bigger than six and a half inches long. I actually could, I actually used the layer cake squares that I had left uh, and scrappy bits to, to cut it. So, but you could use a jelly roll for this if you wanted to. And then I haven't got any layer, uh, jelly rolls left in this one, but I have got a couple of layer cakes. It's called Jolly Season. And this has got those are oh, that you all loved the little snowmen. We've got the little ski and reindeer, the Father Christmas, because I know people were going crazy. We, we couldn't get any more, unfortunately. That Father Christmas with the, the happy face. Um, so we've got a couple of, I think there's two layer cakes left in this. But like I said, they're all down to 25 quid, okay? Daily deal again, so it will go off tomorrow at one o'clock, all right? So get those out of the way. Um, Al, could you pop those over there for me? Yep. Perfect, cool. So the block we're gonna do today, um, I found this one, it's it's perfect for a jelly roll because it all, like I said, you could cut your layer cakes down, but perfect for a jelly roll because they're all two and a half inches wide and then they're just different lengths. So I'm gonna get it down for you. Now I'm, I've already quilted this one up. I made a little sample block up last night and just very quickly quilted it. And you can see it's called a Celtic twist. So it's that idea of a continuation round and round and, and a never ending infinity loop of a Celtic knot or a Celtic twist. Okay. Um, really, really simple to do. So I'm going to go through what you need and then we will put the blocks together. So this is why I need my folder. <laughs> you will need out of your background fabric. Let me just get these right because I've done half of it already because it's a repetitive block. Out of your background fabric, you will need five two and a half inch squares. And you need four two and a half by four and a half inch. OK. And then you need out of your jelly rolls so I would cut these out of a variety of different jelly rolls or rage scraps or like I'm saying cut a layer cake and stuff down you need eight two and a half inch squares you need eight four and a half by two and a halves everything's two and a halves okay so eight four and a halves and you need four six and a halves okay so that's where we're gonna that's what you need to cut out okay now we're going to start really simply. Now this kind of starts a bit like a log cabin, okay? So we're going to start with our background, one of the background two and a half squares, and we're going to lay it up like it was a log cabin, okay? Like this. I'm missing some pieces. I'll find them in a minute. I'm missing some pieces. I haven't got the other bits to this. I've only got three there, and I need four. A bunch of there might be some bits over there. Topic, I'll find them in a minute. Okay, so we're going to work it up like a log cabin. So we've got a two and a half and a two and a half. And when they're sewn together, we're going to put this four and a half on. And then when that's sewn together, we're going to put that four and a half on. And then when that's all sewn together, we're going to put the six and a half on. So just like you would start a log cabin, because normally with a log cabin, you would carry on round like that. If you just leave them there, I'll, yeah, I can cut down the bits that I need. Thanks, honey. As long as we find them. Yeah. I When I move stuff off the table, I've obviously... Moved a I've lost a couple of bits. I'll find them in a minute. Okay, so we're going to start by sewing a two and a half background to a two and a half coloured. Okay, like that coloured square. And while I'm doing that, <coughs> we're going to go up to the sewing machine. Alex is going to tell me who's there and who's having a chat, and I'm just going to change the thread in my um because I've just realised I haven't done it. <laughs> Oops, it's still got the quilting thread in that I was using. Anybody there? Anybody having a chat? Uh, yep, we got a couple of hellos from Kate and Carolyn. Um, uh, oh, okay? Comment popped up in the way. <laughs> uh, Claire said uh, that block uh, looks gorgeous in those fabrics. It really does. I mean, like I said, I've been using that layer cake up um, on so many little Christmas projects. You, I've got so much out of it. It's been uh, it's been brilliant. I've got loads of. You get a lot more fabric in a layer cake that you. Than you realise actually. I just put the cream back in. I really wasn't organised today, was I? There we go. Um, there we go. Let's pop that in there. Any other comments there, Al? 
Uh, and he said, uh, I'm banned from buying fabric until I finished a few projects. <laughs> tell him Father Christmas uh, sent you. Or tell him you won the raffle. Tell him you won the raffle. If you really want it, tell him you won the raffle. We'll, we'll provide a, a little receipt for you. <laughs> there we go. I just re-thread my machine. Like that. Nearly there. And then we can get sewing. Sorry about this. I completely forgot I had the other thread in. There we go. So, we are going to go back to this. So we're sewing a two and a half background to a two and a half colour. Quarter inch seam allowance. Standard stitch length. Okay. Nice and easy. And you have to make four of these. So you could chain piece them if you wanted to. Okay. But that doesn't sound right, does it? What have I done? Hmm. Oh, that's definitely not right. <laughs> I'm a sewing machine's going to play right. Definitely talk to me for a second, ladies, because this isn't going well. All right, let's get rid of that. Anybody else there having a chat? What have you been up to? Are you excited for Celebrity Sewing Bee? I am. Right, what's happened? Other than those comments, is a lot of hellos from everyone. Ah. Uh, you all loved the uh, old um, scrap packs yesterday. I think we sold out of them actually. I know there weren't many of them, but uh, yeah, you all had a, all had a little uh, go at the scrap packs. Alex has got some posting to do in a minute for me. So right, I'm going to play nice. No, she's not even threading now. What are you doing? Right. Okay, let's try again. Don't play up. Behave yourself. Okay, let's re-thread her again. She doesn't want to thread. She doesn't want to sew tonight. Okay, threaded this time. Let's just grab that thread. Come on. Okay, let's try it again. No, nope. what is going on with my machine? She sewed beautifully last night. I did loads of sewing last night. Got lots and lots done. And uh, today, she just decided she's not she's not gonna play play games today. There we go. It's better. Don't know what was going on there. Perfect. Okay, so we're just gonna quickly now whip this together, right? So I've sewn down a quarter of an inch, and you want to always press towards the coloured fabrics. Okay, so with each of these, you're gonna press out towards the coloured fabric. Okay, like that. So I'm going to add a four and a half inch onto the bottom here, like that. Okay, so that oh, so it's facing you guys. So I'm adding that one onto the bottom, like that. So just line them up. And it's just like a log cabin. It just starts exactly the same way. You know, you're just going to surround that centre square with little strips. There we go. That's that one. Did a quilt on Daphne this morning, so that was another one out of the way. So it looks like that. And now we're going to come up this side because we're working our way round the square. So this one's going to go here, like that. Again, just a little quarter of an inch. It's really mega simple, this one. And it came together really quick, actually. It's quite a nice size block. It came out at 14 and a half inches, the finished block. Um, so it's a quite a nice, uh, nice size. So are you pointing all the way over there, Al? No. Nope. <laughs> Seem very off on a, off on a skew whiff today. There we go. So I've got my two, four, a two and a half, four and a half, four and a half, and now I'm going to put my six and a half across the top. Okay. Any other questions there? Any comments? Anybody um, chattering to me today? Uh, Christine said, sorry you're having problems, but it's curiously reassuring. <laughs> oh, we all have problems, love. Sometimes she just, you know, don't get me wrong, I love my machine, but sometimes I think she's just like, I don't want to sew today. And I end up, you know, re-threading her. I think a lot of things, though, you know, and it happens to everybody, absolutely happens to everybody. Re-thread, new bobbin, change your needle. If you do those three things... 
you know, do them, do them a couple of times, rethread a couple of times, and you're still having problems, then there might be a problem with your machine. But 99% of issues with it not sewing are either the bobbin's not in properly or it's wound wrong. It's not threaded quite right. Always thread with your foot up. Never, th never thread with your foot down because the tension discs are closed and it won't thread properly. Um, and then change your needle. And most th those three things almost always sol solve all problems. So we've now got a little block that looks like that. So we're going to go back over to the mat. I'm going to grab my big ruler and my rotary cutter, which I can't now cannot see. <laughs> yeah, right next to my hand. You just want to make sure that these measure six and a half inches. OK, so I'm just going to line up on my ruler. Oh, there is nothing to cut off that at all. Yeah, nothing at all. Oh, tiny widgy little bit there and square up to six and a half inches. If you've sewn, sewn them relatively accurately, you shouldn't really need to, yeah, look, tiny, tiny widgy bit to come off. So you would do that four times, okay? So I've already did these last night so that you're not watching me do the same thing over and over. We're then gonna lie, we're then gonna do some little central pieces, okay? And this is where I'm missing pieces. You need your four, two and a half, by four and a half background pieces and you should have four of these left i've only got three there so i'm just going to grab another one Let me have a little look in my little thing of scraps i'm pretty sure there must be another one here somewhere if not i'll quickly cut one i've got a two and a half there there we go there's a two and a half here we go there well, i'm going to chain piece these okay so i've got my four ow that's my bad finger i've got my four blocks like that and then I'm just going to put a two and a half inch square on each end of my two and a half by four and a half background rectangles. Nice and easy. So we're just going to chain piece those. Okay. This obviously doesn't have to be Christmas, this block. It could be any jelly roll. Um, I think it would look really lovely with batiks, actually. I think if you used a dark background and then some really vibrant batiks, I think that would be gorgeous. There we go. So I'm just going to stitch down these. Just chain piece away. And talk to me while I'm doing this, ladies. Anybody there? Anybody? Uh, Heather said, I don't see today's offer on daily deals. I assume. Then they're not in the daily deals, and they're all in the jelly roll and leg. And there were so many, I didn't transfer them over to the daily deals. If you go into the jelly roll section, and look for the Christmas ones, you'll see the ones there that are £25. Or if you go into the layer cake section, you'll see the ones that are £25. Okay. Um, it's the Snowbound, Poinsettia in Pine, Christmas Card and Jolly Season are the four that are on offer. Okay. Um, there we go. Linda said, when's the sewing bee starting? I think one's Boxing Day. It's only two, two things. One's on Boxing Day. And one's on New Year's Eve, I believe. You know, because there's not going to be many raucous parties on New Year's Eve this year, is there? So I suppose, you know, why not sit in, nice glass of bubbles or a good g and watch Sewing Bee instead, a couple of board games. Again, I'm going to iron these out towards the, uh, the coloured fabric, okay? Um, anything else there? Anybody else having a chat? Um... Jean said, it reminds me of the twisted pretzel block. Yeah, it really does. It's kind of like a version of that. I'm going to make that, because I've done the twisted pretzel. Um, you can come up to me, love, or you're going to still go down on the floor. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still ironing. <laughs> I'm done with the ironing now. Come over here. <laughs> um, so the twisted pretzel, which I did in the poinsettia and pine jelly roll when we did the Zoom class, I've done as a quilt for my mum. Not as a Christmas present, but just, you know, for a Christmas quilt. So I thought that's why I did this one. I thought I'm going to, why I quilted up last night, I'm going to stick a back on it and do a cushion to go with it for her. You know, save it hanging around and being yet another little sample thing that I've not made up. So once we've done those, we can start putting it together. Now you want to take note of where your, your long, your six and a half inch one is. So I'm going to put all those in facing the same way. So that, and again, this is facing you. So they're all down on the right hand side. And then we're going to lie this out as a block. So we're going to have one going downwards. The next one going off to the right. 
like that. This one coming up like this. So can you see? So it's going down, across, up, and then this one like that from the center going out. I would have then have a quick look at them and I don't really want these two greens together. So I'm just going to swap those two, I think. So let's have that one like that. And then that one way round was that one that one there there we go that's better I haven't got any sort of colors touching then okay you're going to use your you should have one more two and a half inch center square that's going in the center like that and then these little pieces that you've just made are going to face in so again I don't want them to be touching so let's have that one there and that one there that red one can go there and the green one there Ooh, that's a bit too close there let's swap those oh no because that will be touching there we go it's gonna have to be like that okay that's a little bit close for my for comfort for me but I, i'll live with that okay so we're gonna gonna sew that together so you just sew them into rows so i'm gonna sew these ones together then the center bit and then these ones this one when i sew it together i'm gonna iron it towards these darker fabrics this one I'll line towards the centre so they nest nicely, okay? So I'm going to go back over to the machine and sew these together. So anybody else having a chat, a comment or anything there? Uh, Carol said, managed to get a layer cake. Ah, oh, fabulous. Yeah, there's not many of them left, the Christmas ones. Um, but we've done them today as a daily deal because we thought, well... With a layer cake, even if you do nothing more than sew them together, just as like a checkerboard, just all the 10 inch squares, sew them in rows. I think I think you get, what is it, a quilt that's 80 by 60, roughly, um, which, you know, will we'll go over, not right up and over, but over the end of a double bed. You know, you could make something really quick for somebody. Um, and uh, I forgot which way I picked that up now. That way. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you could make a really quick Christmas throw. I've just, I did the twisted pretzel one. I've just done it on Daphne for my mum. And I bought one of those um, fleeces from Ikea. You know, they're like £3.50 felty ones. It's quilted beautifully. I thought, because it doesn't need to be a quilt quilt, as in, you know, wadding and, and everything. It's more of like a Christmas throw, just to cutch up under. And I uh, did it on a fleece, no wadding, but just fleece on the back. It looks lovely. It's quilted brilliantly. And I think I think those throws were like £3.50 in Ikea. They're nothing, you know. And there we go. So that's that one. Let me just give that a quick. So I'm going to iron this out towards the, the outside, towards the coloured squares. Like that. Okay. And then my centre one is just those two little ones, nice and quick. Oh, I'm going to have to make a second cushion now, aren't I? She's going to have to have a pair of cushions. <laughs> there we go. Down there like that. Any other questions or comments there? Um, Karen said, makes a beautiful table topper. Oh, yeah, it would. Oh, you could do you could do three blocks in a row and do a little, yeah, little table, table run or table topper. Yeah, nice. Nice idea. A little bit of insulated wadding to protect the table. Yeah, nice idea. I quite like um, like optical illusion blocks. You have know, something that is because um, that's like, like with this one, you've got that idea of it sort of following round and through, and I think a bit like the twisted pretzel. I quite I love the cleverness of them. I really do. There we go. So that's that one, which is the centre one. And then quickly put this one together, and then we can put the finish the block. As you can see. If you um, if you use a jelly roll, so you've got very little cutting to do, um, really really quick block to put together. But it looks like you've spent ages sorting it all out. <laughs> That's that one, and then that one's going on that side. There we go, like that. Nearly there. And then we just put the rows together. You put, I won't put the rows together now. You don't need to see me do that. Okay. But 
I'll show you the quilting that I did. Again, really, really simple, nothing overly complicated. So that one needs to go out that way. There we go. And then bring this one in this way, like that. Okay, and then you would just stitch those together. And because we've so ironed them in opposite directions, okay, you would, uh, that way round. There we go. So those reds went together. <laughs> now, if you wanted to, you could play around with your colours so that these two were the same. You need to flip the top one. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, good spotting, Al. So that these two were the same, so it looked like it was going underneath. You know, you could do that if you wanted to, if you wanted to make it look more elongated, but that takes a little bit of planning. If you're doing something quick, I don't think it necessarily needs that. Um, if I show you this one which I did last night, I didn't do it on that one, but you could, you could match up these ones so that it looks like it's going underneath this long one. Um, but again, you can play around with them, play around with it and kind see what, oh, I did actually, red there. I did, see, I did Half that, <laughs> yeah, I did that without even thinking, look, that one and that one is actually right, right, and the red is right, yeah, see, I did, the, I think, there was me thinking I was being completely scrappy, and I wasn't, so that actually does follow under. So with the quilting, all I wanted to do was emphasise that Celtic knot type feel. So I just shadow quilted all the way round, edge of foot, and just followed it all the way round, and then went round in the in little squares, just to give this a little, you know, quilt it up so it was a bit nicer for a cushion cover. But yeah, I think, uh, was it Karen? Right, if you put three of those, I put a two and a half inch strip round but if you put three three of them together that would be a beautiful table topper it would look lovely wouldn't it really really nice so that's it mega quick and simple celtic knot um perfect for a jelly roll but like i was saying you could because nothing because the biggest piece here is six and a half you could actually get it out of a, a layer cake if you've got layer cake squares there that you want to use up um and i've still look i've still got all these bits left from my layer cake that I cut up. There's still loads of bits left. It's amazing how far they go, actually. It really is. So, any questions or comments there? Anybody got anything to say? Anybody having a chat? Um, Carol said, I think that's like, uh, that's why I like quilting. It's so mathematical, just like this yeah. Celtic knot. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It was me, as I've said many times before, thinking I'd never use maths. <laughs> So I'll just run through the pieces you need for one block again, okay? So that if anybody joined a bit late, you've got your cut instructions. So from your background fabric, you need two and a half inch squares and you need five of them. I'm reading off my little list. You need two and a half by four and a half inch rectangles. You want four. And then for me colours, you could, there's no reason it has to be all different colours. It could be solid. You know, it could be all solids or something. But from your coloured fabrics, you need eight two and a half inch squares, eight two and a half by four and a half inch rectangles, and four six and a half by two and a half inch rectangles. And then all I did to finish it off was put a two and a half inch border all the way round. Okay, so that's it. Anything there? Any any questions or anything? Uh, no questions. But no. Jean says it's lovely. Yeah, I was. It came together so so quickly. And I think it's really effective. It's a really nice, effective one. Um, you know, quite it's quite standouty. You know, so uh, yeah, great. Nothing else there. Uh, Wendy just came in. Uh, I like that a lot. Thank you both. That's all right. No problem. Right, I am going to get back over the shop then. Um, Sarah's back tomorrow. Um, I've got Zoom class all day tomorrow, so I'm going to come off the Zoom. Sarah will be jumping on for one o'clock. And then when she's finished, I'll be jumping back on for the Zoom. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, it's going to be slightly chaotic in uh, in my dining room stroke studio <laughs> tomorrow. Um, but she's going to be making the cutest giraffe called Gertie. She's lush, love her. Um, she's going to be doing that with you. So a little bit of stuffed toy, a stuffed toy for you. Uh, really quick and easy as well to do. So again, nice. You could get them done in time for a Christmas present. Um, and then, yeah, and that's it, I think. If there are spaces on tomorrow and if you've got a jelly roll there, you have still got time to join us. OK, use as a jelly roll or you can cut from your stash, which is what I did. Um, but we have I can as long as you sort of get get in by sort of four o'clock today, I can send you the Zoom instructions and you can join us tomorrow if you fancy it. Um, but if not, I will see you all on Monday. Have a lovely weekend. My 
bathroom will be finished by Monday. No, oh, you should see the floor. It looks like a quilt pattern. It looks like quilt blocks. The tiles I've chosen. I'm so in love with it. Just loving it. Absolutely gorgeous. They're doing a really good job, actually. Um, but that's all going to be finished. I'm so excited. It's going to be finished very soon. <laughs> I don't have to share the bathroom again with the stinky boys. I get my own little space. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So I will see you all on Monday. Uh, take care, everybody. See you soon. Bye.